Guess what? What? Video games are not as good as board games. Let's talk about it. Hey, welcome back to the Board Game Junkies. Today, we are talking about why board games are better than video games. Totally, they are better. <laughs> so to preface this, Sean, in yeah. his nerdy ways, no, I shouldn't say that. Why not? I don't know. I feel like it offends. I always call you a nerd, but to me, you are a nerd because yeah. you have none of the same interests. Like, you... look at your mug, for <laughs> Pete's sakes. You're not Baby offending. Yoda. You're not offending Or the anybody. child, sorry. You're not offending anyone. <clears throat> you can't offend me. <laughs> I'm unoffendable. Mm -hmm. So Sean started off with video games, right? You only really got into board games like 10 years ago. Yeah, let's face it. So if we go back in time, I started playing games on Super Nintendo and Nintendo and NES. Oh no, that's the same freaking thing. N64. <laughs> Um, and then I transferred into computer games and been doing that ever since. So I have proof that I am a computer nerd as well as a board game nerd, yeah. which I will show you right now. I really hit the jackpot in the nerd category. Oh yeah. <laughs> you didn't expect this, did you? No, no. Okay. Nerd! I'm just saying that I understand like the difference between video games and board games and like what has happened nowadays compared to what it was like when I was younger. And I'm not saying that just because I'm getting older, like things are changing and video games are just not as interesting anymore. They literally are not becoming interesting. <laughs> and board game stores are popping up everywhere in Canada and I would imagine the States too, because of the popularity that's built around them. We're gonna be talking about reasons why I especially believe that board games are better than video games. So to start this off, I'm gonna start with Tangibility. Video games are not as good anymore as they used to be. Because back in the day, when you used to buy it, you'd get a disc or you get something. You go to the store, you'd be able to have a tangible disc in your hand that you can download and install whenever you feel like. And now with everything being digital, I feel like it's just not the same. Like if everything goes under, say Steam decides, oh, we're gonna pull the plug, we're not gonna be here anymore, you don't have any games. If your hard drive goes, your games are gone. Yes, you have to buy a new hard drive, but that's a hell of a lot more expensive than you'd think. Like when it comes to back in the day, even when you used to buy N64 games or NES or Super Nintendo games, you'd have a cartridge, you know? <laughs> like this wasn't like what it is nowadays. You, everything's digital, you don't get so for you, you just feel like you don't you don't physically have something. Like you kind of do because it's on the computer, but or like in a console. Yeah. But you're getting something for your money, I feel. And yeah. I feel that with digital, it's it's invisible. You don't have anything, you're not holding it. It's not like a board game, you know what I mean? Like look at that. Paid good money for it, and I have something for it. I it's the world's changing and it's it's turning into this digital age where you will own nothing and you'll be happy. Um, so to play off of that, what I, I don't play video games or computer games. Well, video games, like I like Super Mario, I like side scrollers or Cuphead, but that's pretty much the extent of my video game gaming. <laughs> yeah. Um, but for me, it's like noticing now with the kids, like first it was Roblox and then Minecraft, but Minecraft, there's nothing. You don't really have to pay to... You could. To, you could, but I just never did. But then, like I said, Roblox, no. now Fortnite, and it's like, Mom, I want V-Bucks. Oh, I want uh, Robux. And it's like... Ma, the meatloaf! Fuck! I spend this money, and it's my fault. I'm the idiot for doing it. 
but like they don't even want for Christmas. They didn't even want actual presents. They, my little guy is almost nine, didn't want a single toy. It was, I want Pokemon cards, which I don't play. I just like opening them to see if I get a good one and V bucks. So the extent of his gifts were just like, yeah. Imagine going under the Christmas tree. Here's a whole bunch of cards. No actual well, I, I'm fine toys oh, or I, yeah. anything like that. Your tree is just loaded with cards underneath now. I know. And so, it's like, wow. So he ended up collectively with like through grandparents and his dad and, and us and stuff. He ended up with like 30,000 V-Bucks. Oh, that was gone in a matter of a day, maybe two. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, maybe two days. Okay, well then on that note. And But wait, what do you get for it? Well, yeah. You, you buy yourself like a skin that everybody else could have. It's not unique. Like I was asking Sean about it because I don't and know anything about this stuff, but it's like you can't even create your own personal like you, like a you oh. shooter yeah. person, you know? Like <laughs> let the shoe sting begin. Nobody say anything stupid when the shoe sting begins. Like you can't even you don't even do that. It's like you're buying a skin uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or like uh, The Weeknd and other people have it or you're paying like, what is it? 500 V-Bucks for an emote? What's an emote? Like a it's dance like a that dance they do? Mode. Like, is it yeah. that loser one? Like, do, do, do. Yes, yes it is. I don't know, I just, I can't understand it, but this is what they want now. And it's like, you yeah. spend money on these things that if you lose your account or you can't, you get banned or just for whatever reason, if you, if, if that's gone, all that money is gone too. Well, yeah, and that segues yeah. into cost. The amount of money that you put forth for things that you just, uh, yeah, like a, a skin, you know, 14 bucks or $12 for a skin, or if not more, and it's just a skin that you put over the character, you're not really, I'm thinking to myself like, when she buys multiple uh, skins for the kids, I'm thinking like, I could have bought many games for that. <laughs> Like how many? I could have got like. It's true. Like when he had the thirty thousand V bucks, I think it was one hundred and fifty bucks, maybe more, two hundred dollars. Well, collectively, it was more than that, but yeah. And yeah, gone through it within minutes. I was like, oh my god. And then uh, like, the store comes out with something else they want because that's yep. what they do, right? Yep. And then it's like, mom, can I get more? And I'm like. Are you crazy? Like, I just can't, no. Yeah, it drives me up the wall. Yeah. I can't even accept it. Like, I look at it and I'm like, oh, it hurts so much. I could have bought so many awesome board games for that. Yeah. But, you know, teach your own. I guess, comment below if you think that uh, we're in the wrong. If you if you think like, ah, digital skins are well worth the money, <laughs> then. You can never wear them. You just look at them. But... Yeah, you look at them. And in most ways, like, let's, let's look at Fortnite, for example. No one gives a shit if you're wearing a skin. Like, they're just, the point of the game is just to shoot and take them down. So I, I find it pointless. Like I, I never bought one. I would just play the game with what was given to me and that's the way I accept it. What about your other games though? Like you don't play that stuff. I mean, sometimes you will. Oh, which is another point. How about when the kids are like, oh, Sean, let's play Grounded. Or um, when, when he, like when Luca asks to play Grounded. Yep. You're like, yeah, cool. You go to your computer. Oh, I have to do an upload. Oh yeah, or yeah. an update, sorry, yeah, an update, yeah. and then that takes what? How long? Oh frig, it could be like hours. Versus, you take a board game yeah. out of its box, you set it up in like the five minutes it takes, and you start playing. It's just there; it's time consuming. Okay, so the other thing that I want to talk about when it comes to cost of um, video games versus board games is what you get for your money. And what I mean by that is like I've noticed that. As of late, you will spend $90 upwards to $120 for these AAA video games, and they're not even done. They, they come out and they're not even complete. So you're paying for a game that's not done? Yes. You must meet our daughter, the debutante. She came out last spring. Whoa, put her back in. She's not done yet. Why? 
like you'll get it, it'll crash a whole bunch of times. Maybe there's content that's missing or it's glitchy because they didn't even finish the game. They didn't even play test it. And the other thing I wanted to say is that when you buy a board game, there is no, oh, there's glitches or it's not complete yet and I have to wait. Our only glitch when we play is when Sean doesn't read the instructions properly. <laughs> read the rules, hi. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, English side ruined, must use French instructions. Le grill, what the hell is that? <laughs> You know what? I do a mix of reading the rules and like watching watching people play. play it and then I I figure it out that way. It's easier for me to do it that way. And then I put it together and sometimes we screw up. I mean, we all do, right? So, video games are boring and lacking content. And I'll explain why. When you have brand new games that just come out to the market like Starfield or you, you just name it. I bet you you'll be able to list some down below in the comments of games that you, they're just boring. You could be running for 30 minutes straight and there's a video clip of it and I'm gonna show you right now. <laughs> Now that you're back, now you could see that these games are so open world and so vast and, and the developers, all they care about is the graphics of the game. Which are great. Like yeah. You can I can appreciate the graphics, it's cool. I would never go sit down and play one. Yeah, but there's but they something- they look great. Yeah, there's something more important though than the yeah. graphics, which is the gameplay. I would say more than 90% of the time, you could have really crappy graphics, but as long as the gameplay is perfect, they won't care. They're just going to love the game. Proof of that would be Minecraft. It doesn't look very great at all, but the gameplay is fun. So it edges out just because of that. But that being said, board games are better. <laughs> no. Um, I agree they are better. So they, you know, like you have there on your little listy list. Um, yeah. They bring people together. Like we, Sean and I typically play the games just as duos. Um, but we've been really like getting the kids into playing stuff more. So we've spent a lot of time over Christmas break playing Catan with them, which is really fun. They enjoy it. It gets them off the electronics, gets us to socialize, gets them to use their brain. Even for me, like I've worked not so many jobs, but like I've had a couple jobs in the past where I was at the airport and like one of them was fueling. Well, that's where we met. We were both working at the fuel tank or the fuel farm, sorry. And like you fuel airplanes, it's the same monotonous thing. Like, you know, pull up, park your truck, chalk it, get your ladder, hook up. Anyway, my point yeah. is that it doesn't <laughs> take a lot of brain power. Yeah. And then after that, I started working at this hangar. And I mean, obviously there were flights that occurred, but for the most part, I sat at the front and I Netflixed and chilled for my entire shift. <laughs> like I, I could go like an entire week with, it was just a quiet week and there was no flights going on. And I would just sit there and I was essentially babysitting this empty hangar. That would be and the it best was job like, ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was, it was cool. It was fun for sure, but like, my, I noticed my brain starting to deteriorate. And like, once we started playing games, once you kind of got me into it, there's like, there's so many thinky aspects of it and the strategy and I don't know, something just starts to change in you, right? So that's why I enjoy these games, like. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, video games nowadays that are mind numbing. I just don't find them interesting as well, what, they used well, to be. And, and now like board games just add a challenge and they get your mind thinking and that's the way it should be. I, I don't know, like there's only a few video games that I actually enjoy that actually get my mind to think, but the majority of it is just mind numbing garbage. Sorry to say. Hot trash. <laughs> Hot trash. <laughs> So even on like the topic of it bringing people together, like how board games bring people together, I get that, you know, when the kids are playing with their friends online, they're still chatting with them, right? Like it has that feature, but you're not there hanging out with each other. Like I remember back in the day, your friends would come over after school or on the weekends, you guys would play, you'd go out, bike, you know, do something. You were together. I find this yeah. is very like, 
everyone's segregated. One's yeah. in his room, the other one's in her room, this one's on the laptop. And, and then your friends are all at their own houses yeah. hanging out and they're playing with you, but there's no human connection. So after they're done gaming, that's it. Like, like they're not gonna hang out afterwards. Even in our 20s, like we'd go for a beer or something after like hanging out together. You guys, you do that in your 20s? Yeah, most uh, guys. Oh God, I was out partying and like at the bars, like. <laughs> and Sean's here, like, guys, let's go play some games and then grab a bite to eat. Yeah, we're gonna set up a LAN party and then. We're oh God, go... no, no, please stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was fun. I, I know you don't know it, but it was fun because all LAN your friends parties. are there. Yeah, it was. It's very fun. Oh my gosh. It's like this, the... this might be our last video. <laughs> so, say and goodbye. This is when it ended. <laughs> oh man. Um, but yeah, and then there's also like the anger. Like when, when I see them playing a game. Oh my god. There's this like rage that goes through them when they get shot or then they start fighting with each other. Like, you're a spammer. Oh, yeah. I don't, I'm trying to think of the things that they say. Like, yeah, there's always, you're a spammer, you're cheating. Uh, okay, wait, let's face it. Wait a second. If it comes to video games versus board games in that matter. Okay, I guess I act the you've, same way. You've slapped my hand out of the way. You might as well flip the table. <laughs> like. I think that's based on whether you're a good sport, but nowadays they're not good sports. No. They, it, it's hard for them to accept a loss. Well, some are. I mean, mine definitely is a, a sore loser, but I'm sure he doesn't get that from me. No, nope, not at all. <laughs> um, and then also there's the whole, uh, I mean, I know that it's an app, but it's still to me like falls in the same category, but like, yep. like people were dying from Pokemon Go. Yeah. Like, how are you so, I'm very, I'm not anti-electronics and um, like technology and stuff like that, but for me, there's a limit. Like I just, if I'm home, like you're never gonna, when I come home from work, for example, like I will never go and turn on a computer and like do anything. I just, I yeah. don't like it. My phone, I try to like leave it aside. I don't, I, I'm not like one of those people that's just on it constantly yeah. scrolling, Oops. but. Very different from me, man. Yeah, I come home, I'm like, I want to play on the computer or pop out a board game with you. Yeah, which I don't mind doing that. I, th I think that at the end of the day, we all allocate our interests and our time where we find value. And for me, I don't. I just think that when I see, you know, these videos online of people like literally, you know, walking into the street because they're trying to catch Bulbasaur. Like, what the oh, fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, how are you so disconnected from reality? Like, that kind of shit, okay, yeah. I just, I yeah. don't understand. Yeah, or okay. like, you've told me about people that have literally not eaten or drank water for days like and then days. they just die because they are so invested in a video game. You name one friggin' time. Actually, I don't know if this exists but I'm pretty sure I've never heard of somebody playing a board game for so long that they died because they neglected to like well, take care of their bodies. What's I'm up? just kidding, it's like a dead a skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, the only, uh, the only time you would die is if you had to wait for someone to take their turn. <laughs> but that, but no, I'll like, Not even, it's true. But yeah. Like World of Warcraft has probably killed, I don't know, countless people. What? Yeah. What is that, is that a board game? Or no, a board it's a game? video game. Oh, it's a video oh. game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That was one of the biggest games that have killed the most people. They just, nobody oh, would eat, sleep. They wouldn't do anything. And not only if they did eat or sleep, it would be mainly like candy and like- uh, Yeah, the quick go-to, the processed crappy foods, right? Yeah, processed crappy food and uh, energy drinks. Oh yeah, those are really so good So speed the up your heart, yeah. So not only have you not drank any water or had any actual food, Let's increase the speed of it by drinking some energy drinks. And then, and then get like, so stressed out. It's like... So like in a nutshell, essentially, board games, you get the game, you pay for it the one time. And you, you have it. You have it. Um, if see. you want to get an expansion, should the game have one, you can choose to do so. But if you don't, it doesn't ruin the gameplay. It's just something that makes it possibly slightly better. Yep. Um, which is different in video games, sometimes you need to pay to advance or you know whatever the case may be um that's right board games get you together it gets you to socialize in Things. person right gets you to really think i don't find a lot of these video games are thinky 
you're just right. looking for someone to shoot or you're running on some planet. I don't even know what they do. <laughs> looking for winter fairies and <laughs> oh trolls. Um, you get more for your money. Yeah. Oh, like with a board game? Yeah. Like when you buy a giant game like Nemesis, like 200 bucks, at least you're getting $200 worth of material. You spent $200 on a video game, you're not really getting anything. Actually, you never did. You're just getting digital. And also, so. what if the power goes out? Yeah, power goes out. That's another good well, example. Well, because it happens here, not often, but it happens. And then what do you do? You, everyone's like, oh, I want to go on this. I want to go on that. Well, sorry. Yeah. Oops. But like we pull out a game and you can play that. Yeah. Board games Endlessly. always accessible. Well, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think. Do you prefer video games over board games? I would hope that it's board games over video games if you're watching this. But uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Um, Thank you to everyone watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time. Take care, everyone.